Hello everyone, my name is David, thank you for tuning in, and today we are going to talk about Pixar, okay? Got my incredible shirt on, got my incredible hat on, um, this film studio is one of the most successful on the face of the planet, man. They've earned themselves like billions of dollars, 27 Academy Awards, 7 Grammys, 11 Golden Globes, that is amazing, okay, for, for any film studio with such little titles, okay? Just this stack of movies here have earned them billions of dollars, okay? Um, successful, uh, record-breaking, yeah, Pixar is just amazing, okay? Um, at the time of this recording, Monsters University has just hit theaters, okay? And we got Fighting Dory, we got a dinosaur movie coming up, we got the 20th uh, birthday of Pixar. We got a lot to look forward to in the next couple of years, man. Uh, Pixar is absolutely amazing. Disney's greatest acquisition, in my opinion, okay? Let's go through some of the stuff I have. We're, today we're going to talk about the movies, okay? I'm going to give you some of my personal experiences. I'm not going to do reviews, okay? You know how good these movies are, so I'm not going to do reviews on them. Uh, but we're going to talk about the movies and my personal experience with each one of them. And um, anyway, let's just pan through everything I have, okay? I got the movies right over here, okay? I'm sure you've seen most of them, okay? Or all of them. Uh, we got Toy Story stuff here. I have collected Toy Story since I was a kid. Kept them. And we got more, man. Look at that. We got Mr. Potato Head. We got him. We got Woody and Buzz and video games. It is just crazy. They got a whole box of Toy Story stuff, okay? So let's talk about the movies. Okay, give you one of some of my stories. I think that's a good angle right there. Can you see me? Yes, you can. Okay. So when it comes to Pixar, they're most well known for their CGI shorts, okay? Before um, their first film came out, they were known for their shorts. We got here both of them right here. The first and the second one of all the Toy Story shorts. The first one's got all the best ones. We got the, the knick-knack, the snowman and the snow globe. We also got Tin Toy, uh, Jerry's Game, One Man Band. It's got some of the best uh, titles uh, that Pixar is uh, known to do. Okay, second one's alright. Mo most of these shorts here show up as special features in the other movies. Uh, like that Wally, the Ratatouille, the Mater related shorts and stuff like that. We got those. Got the, this one has Hawaiian Vacation also. The one with Toy Story, uh, Toy Story characters. Um, there's also Day and Night, which is one of my favorites. It's not, which is not exactly computer animated, but uh, uh, it's very enjoyable. Okay, Pixar is really good at their shorts. Okay, so if you want a good introduction to Pixar, check these out. Okay. Two volumes as of right now. I'm sure after a few more movies, there's going to be a third one out, okay? And then, 1995, we got Toy Story, okay? This was the big movie, okay? A lot of people uh, were introduced to CGI for the first time with this movie, okay? Uh, pretty much. A fully CGI movie, okay? Um, That's what I meant. Tim Allen, Tom Hanks, some of the greatest actors ever in Hollywood, uh, star, um, where, where, where it's in film or TV. Um, star in this movie, uh, Toy Story. I watch this movie like every week, man. After my cousins saw it, they just want to see it like every time they get a chance. Um, so we watch it every week. I memorized this darn movie, man. Scene by scene, line by line. On the bus at school, I would like recite an entire scene up until I get off on the bus, off until I get off the bus. And the kids around me would like tune in and listen like it was a radio show. Uh, me doing Toy Story, okay? But for like two, three years, all the, all the parents know what to get the kids for Christmas, okay? Anything Toy Story related. <laughs> so yeah, Toy Story is one of those greatest movies ever, okay? Um, I, I, and look, I got toys and stuff like that, so you know I love Toy Story, okay? And then, 1998, we got A Bug's Life. Now, uh, Julia uh, Richard Dreyfuss, uh, the, 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 the actress who played Elaine on Seinfeld, uh, Adventures of Little Christine. She plays the princess in this movie, okay? There's also got James Woods. It's a great movie. It came out in 1998, okay? And at the same time, it came out with Ants, okay? From DreamWorks. I thought it was crazy that they were making two insect-related movies that year, and I, I love both of them, okay? Ants, I guess I have to say I like a little more because it's more adultish. Uh, but A Bug's Life is a great Great movie and stuff. It's so cute, man. It's so freaking cute. Okay. 1999. Toy Story 2. This movie came out in theaters. Everyone else saw it in theaters. I did not see it in theaters. Okay. And it drove me nuts. Okay. Never saw it until it came out on VHS. Okay. But there it is. Toy Story 2. I love the new characters. I love that all the old ones came back. Um, it was just a great movie. Okay. 
And then in 2001, we got Monsters, Inc., okay? And Monsters University is in, in theaters right now. Mike and Sully, man! Billy Crystal and John Goodman? What better actor, uh, a duel can, can you ask for, okay? And uh, I've actually not seen Monsters University at the time of this recording, but I am looking forward to it, okay? Do not spoil it for me. I am so ready to see it, okay? Monsters, Inc., everyone. And then, arguably the best... Pixar movie. It is Finding Nemo, and Finding Dory is coming out in a couple of years. Ellen, De G G G Ellen DeGeneres is set to uh, reprise her role as Dory. Okay, this movie was awesome. It was heartwarming. It was touching. Uh, one of the greatest movies ever. Okay, so there is the two disc collectors edition. I also got here the Steel Book. It's tin. It's metal. Okay, but there is the picture. Okay. Came out in 3D. I did not see it in 3D, but I bet that it looked great in 3D. Okay. And then, oh, you can see from my outfit that I'm about to talk I'm about the great crazy here. Okay, 2004. This was the best movie that came out that year, and it was Incredibles, man. The Incredibles, action-packed. This was. No words can describe how awesome this movie was. Okay, I loved it. I loved The Incredibles. I. I, I I can go on, I can make my own, this can make its own video, okay? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just speech right now because of how, how great this movie was. I hope they make a sequel. Um, I feel like the more time they wait to make that sequel, the better it's going to be, okay? I, I mean, you got to put some time, you got to put some effort, got to think about the story and stuff like that. So if they are going to make a sequel someday, um, I'm looking forward to it, okay? The longer you make me wait, I feel like the, the wait's going to be worth it, okay? Um, Cars came out in 2006. I saw it twice in theaters, man. None of these other Pixar movies I saw twice in theaters at all, okay? Uh, Cars, I saw it twice. It was a heartwarming, touching story. Um, had some great actors, man. Paul Newman, Owen Wilson, um, Larry the Cable Guy. Um, it had some good voice acting in it, okay? It was a great story. Um, not Pixar's best, but definitely one of the greatest, okay, that we have, okay? And then Ratatouille with Remy came out in 2007. Um, this movie was alright, I guess. I didn't like it as much as I wanted to. I, lo I love the music. One of the greatest things I got to say about these Pixar movies is that the music is always good. Uh, I bought my mom a tool croc uh, with, uh, with Remy on it, okay? Uh, she loved it. Because uh, in, in the Chinese Zodiac, she was born a year and a mouse, okay? And it's... And, you know, she loves her cooking and stuff like that. And Remy, a mouse, loves cooking. So, uh, I really need to show my mom this movie. She, I think she'll really enjoy it. And then... Really, this came out next? Okay. 2007. We got Wally. -E, okay. Uh, so I just went once in theaters with my friends. Um, <laughs> it offended one of my friends because... Um, because he's a, he, he's a big guy, okay? And he was uh, kind of like, oh, th th this, is, this is my future, okay? Uh, yeah, Wally's one of my favorite movies ever. It's cute. It's, uh, yeah, there's not a lot of romance movies anywhere else. So, yeah, um, Ratatouille may, maybe, but, uh, yeah, Wally was uh, one of Pixar's greatest romance movies, okay? So, yeah. I thought Up came out before Wally, but apparently not. Okay, so 2009, we got Up. Okay, touching story. First 10 minutes, you're already crying, man. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Up, I, I don't know what to say. It's just one of those great movies. Be a wonderful ending, okay? So this is the Blu-ray, and these are the special features that are included on the Blu-ray. Uh, and more, obviously, uh, they don't have enough to fit it on there, but yeah. Uh, do check out Up if you haven't already. I full, uh, recommend this movie, okay? And then, the greatest sequel ever, okay? Uh, in my opinion. 2010, we got Toy Story 3, okay? Got the DVD here. I wish I had the Blu-ray, okay? Um, I... Yeah. Um, one of the greatest movies I've ever seen. Okay, it's greatest ending ever. Okay, I drove me to tears. Okay, I, I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Toy Story 3 this is a movie that you just gotta check out. If you haven't checked it out, what are you waiting for? Don't don't just rent Toy Story 3. Just buy it because you know you're gonna see it like a hundred times after. Um, but yeah, I saw it in theaters, and then I saw it like a bunch of times after that. 
um, you know, at home. But yeah, Toy Story 3 is just one of those great movies, man. And when it comes to Pixar movies, definitely buy it on Blu-ray, okay? I don't think any movie looks better than those that are actually made from the computer, okay? Straight from digital source onto a digital media. Blu-ray. Um, so we've got Cars 2 in 2011. Not exactly the best movie ever, okay? But it was very enjoyable, okay? I definitely had to get it for the collection's sake. And uh, here are the special features in case you're interested, okay? This is the DVD Blu-ray combo pack. Wonderful. Okay. Got some great actors in it. And it's got that kind of that James Bondy feel, you know? So, yeah. Uh, it was good. Okay. No complaints. It was obviously a boys movie, pretty much. But, yeah. 2012, we got Brave. Which was absolutely incredible. <laughs> Touching. Uh, I cried at the end when like the mom wouldn't turn back. Okay, she was like stuck as a bear forever, and I was like, no. <laughs> and then of course everyone lived happily ever after, but whatever. Okay, you know I just spoiled the movie for you. Sorry about that, but whatever. I'm sure you've already seen it by this time. Uh, I got the, I got the Blu-ray 3D man. This was one of those movies that is, is worth it to buy to cash out those extra 20 bucks just to get it on the on the 3D. Um, so it's a five disc set. Five disc, man. I know these other movies have five disc in them. So yeah, there it is. I do have the tin case for this too, but I gave it to I gave it to a friend. Uh, there are the special features in case you're interested, and the disc are beautiful, man. They just look at that. Rarely do you see artwork on the disc. Yeah, there it is. Got the family there. Oops. So yeah, Brave. I wouldn't actually have seen Brave if a girl didn't recommend it to me. Honestly, it's just, I, I, it turned me off a little bit at the beginning, but when I finally saw it, it was like the greatest movie ever that year, okay? Um, so yeah, what is your favorite Pixar movie? Comment below and let me know, okay? So uh, rate, favorite, definitely subscribe because I'm going to make more of these videos in the future. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Peace.